What's up gamer? It's your Freddy Show once again and yes, we got another game to review for today. Alright, and this is totally a brand new one. I'm so excited to review this game. I haven't checked it out. I don't even have a character. So this is definitely a first-hand honest review of this game. And if this is your first time on this channel, don't forget to click the subscribe button and ring that notification bell so that you'll be updated whenever we have new video. We are doing this kind of things. We are reviewing games and checking out if this game is fit for you. So without further ado, let's go ahead and get into the game. Let's go! Yeah! So currently we have Europe, we have North America, we have South America, we have Asia Pacific server, so there's a lot. So I don't know why it's that much, but if that game have a lot of server, then it must be good, right? So let's go ahead and get inside into the game. I choose AP11 because... No deity or demon can outmatch me, the heavenly sage. Okay, so interesting. We have here Wukong. Critical is high. Attack is good. Dodge is good. Defense is good. Defense and recovery is a little bit off, but uh, control is also good. So graphics on this page is already good. So let's check Divine General. My invincible cold spear will destroy all enemies in my way. One more army, so definitely high on attack, high on crit, high on recovery, a little bit weak on the control side, defense also high, dodge is just fine. Let's check Taoist. Justice of the universe, follow my commands to purge all evils. Okay, so this one more uh, looks like a mage to me. Okay, high on control, attack is also high, dodge is also high, defense is uh just right and then recovery is a little bit up and critical is too far off as you can see on the stats so okay best of the world longevity rendered so this is probably like another class right for this character and then let's Even check seiya shiver before my arrow so we have attack Crit, very high. Dodge is very high as well. Not really that high, but attack and crits, definitely high. But uh, yeah, as you know, archers are more on the physical damage. Death is a little bit weak. Control is a little bit weak. Recovery is a little bit weak. This is somewhat squishy on my end. Okay, so yeah. Lowry. From valley to ocean, we spirit foxes wander like zephyrs. Attack is just fine. Dodge is just fine. Crit is just fine. Defense is just fine. Recovery is too high, right? That's too far high. I think this is the most balanced character based on the stats. And Okay, so this is one of the best. Well, so far the best character that I am looking at based on the stats. Okay, now let's go for Monk. May the salvation chant of Zen save the world. Okay. And this is the demon type. Okay, so yeah, it's a class, a demon class. And uh, yeah, that's just a preview. So attack is high, dodge is a little bit off, critical is just right, defense is just right, control is just right, and recovery is a little bit off. Let's check the dragon lady. Descendant of the dragon will come down on the world. So dodge is very high, attack is right and defense is a little bit off control is a little bit off recovery is just right and critical is just right as well so it's really hard to decide which character but so far for me it's the lori that i am looking at how about you gamer what is the character that you're looking at so far let me finish it off for you so that you get to decide okay let's check heavenly dragon dragon on this world. we will wherever we are and attack is high, dodge is a little bit off, critical is just right, recovery is just right, control is just right, and defense is a little bit off already. So now let's go to Phoenix. Phoenix Plume, the beauty and shadow. Phoenix Plume, by the looks of it, you'll know already what this is. This is like an assassin, right? So dodge is a little bit off. Alright, defense as well, control. Well, that is how assassins are. A little bit squishy, but the critical and attack is high and recovery is high as well for this character. So, there are the characters. Gamer, what 
character are you gonna be creating? Go ahead and comment it down below, okay? Alright, so let's check out this character. I like this because of the mutation and recovery. And it's balanced, so I'll just go ahead and check it out as well. So, And yeah, there you go. There's nothing much to do. I'm just not quite sure if there is like a personal assist. She'll return as the real great sage one day. Okay, so we have auto fight in here. I think it's loud, right? Boom. So this is a cutscene. Okay, okay. I'm just not sure if just me, but it feels like I'm playing Blade and Soul Mobile, right? I'm afraid I'd be dead already if it weren't for you. The graphics to me is, looks like a little bit on the cartoonish side, but let's see if we can enhance it, right? Okay. Whoop. So. Yeah, more like Blade and Soul, right? Are you that pervert Lee mentioned? I think. <laughs> Mr. Lee said that you were elegant and deceptive. I'm you not a pervert. <laughs> My dad got it from a mortal technique. It's said to be a descendant of Mujah's wing fire wheels and looks pretty cool. Okay, is that a pet? Is this a pet that we have? A flying hug? This guy is so bold. How dare he snatch the girl whom our immortal has laid eyes on. Alright, so we have auto fight with have auto path. On the immortal this game. these people speak of wants girls to be sacrificial offering. Okay, let me just go to settings and let's push it all up. All right, so we have the perfect quality. Okay, I'm getting I'm getting hooked to the story. <laughs> So this is the graphics already at max. So definitely open world. Alright gamers, so I like how the graphics is clean and smooth. Okay, yeah. So as I was saying, I like how clean the looks. They're not trying to be the best graphics. They're not trying to get the best graphics game. But it's there. You see there are details of the stars and the moons on the sky. But it's not that high, right? I've seen many people who are putting up a show and trying to help me defeat minion monsters. Maybe I can Oh, that's a very nice problem. wing it's right I over there. Some materials from the monsters. Is that the character or an NPC? Oh, it's an NPC, it's a sentinel. I'll use these the flying wings will allow you to fly. Small obstacles on Whoa! the Whoa! Look at that. I always get so excited whenever there is uh, wings or the characters have wings and they're flying. Looks nice, right? It's just like wings of a dragonfly. Oh, this is Shizuka, <laughs> the puppeteer. Hey, come on, let's fly. So we can use our wings. There you go. Whoop. That's nice. Whoop. I like that. Immortal. All right, so definitely based on a Chinese uh, history, something like that, right? Legend or what? The theme is ancient Chinese, something like that, right? So it's easy to play. I wouldn't make it so easy for you if I didn't get hurt when hurting the monsters. And to level up, I'm already at level 38. I actually thought that this will be more like perfect world, but now it's more like somewhat a mixture of perfect world mobile and uh, blade and soul all right wow very nice mount i like it so click alpha challenge whoa this big Azura Blade. I just so like the graphics. I don't know why. But it's clean. Looks good. It's smooth. Maybe because there's like a uh, perfect world feel to it. Minus the lags. <laughs> Okay, victory. So this is more like a tower, right? 
stages. Okay, so we need to enhance our wings. Okay, that's enough. Okay, so you need to enhance your mount as well. Let's just enhance it. So that's how you increase CP. And then Warlord Dungeon. Let's go. Oh, that was fast. I'm 54 already. I also love the skill effects. Even the skill effects of the enemy. Look at that. That's very nice. For me, it's very nice. It's like a uh, vortex or what, right? A monk. It's a monk. Okay. It's actually there. Demonized monk. Flower Demon King. That's interesting. It's a girl king, right? Is my pet attacking with me or is it just there for display? So this is a boss. Looks like a monk to me as well. Alright, so you don't really have to enter a dungeon or what? Trial Tingly. Okay, I'm on autoplay. Okay, nice item. We got some nice item in here. Look at this map, this NPC. They look nice and clean. I don't know. It just looks clean for me. Right? Doesn't have too much detail. Just right, just enough. And that makes the game smooth as well. It's smooth feeling playing this game so i like also the interface is somewhat clean and i'm not quite sure oh yeah you can even hide this one and there are no other icons in here anymore except for this okay yeah, yeah there you go you can actually click that one as well we're stuck at level 58 and i don't know what to do here all right warlord dungeons it says here so let's go ahead and do the warlord dungeons okay challenge So once you run out of quests, just go to Warlord Dungeons. It's a white tiger, like, like a cursed white tiger or a revived hellhound. So Warlord Dungeon, they just come out of this same place. Just different bosses, but same place. Okay, honestly, gamer, I get bored there for a second because I was killing different mobs on the same or different bosses on the same spot right so that's kind of weird for me i don't know gamer what about you go ahead and comment it down below okay so we got the we got him as our pet now is that right okay so there's definitely forge in here let's just do auto enhance Wow, that was, that was a lot. That was like a cash machine, right? Okay, so it seems that we ran out of quests already and we're just gonna do Warlords and Warlords. So that's gonna be a little bit strange. And we're gonna be killing this different bosses on the same spot again. Alright. So that's a bummer to me. What about you, gamer? Yeah, go ahead and comment it down below if this is a bummer to you as well because we're doing the same thing like for i don't know for the last 20 minutes you should be doing something different right but we're hoping that there's some other things that we can do on this game except for warlord dungeon okay go to challenge boss so now we're gonna challenge a boss okay so and we're gonna challenge the boss on the same spot again Right. That's kind of weird. <laughs> I don't know for you, gamer. What do you think? Reach level 80. And then we're gonna challenge again Warlord Dungeons. Alright, so another boss at level 80. Uh huh. Alright, so we are fighting another boss on the same location as well. Same everything, same ambience. 
so I don't know why they did it this way but they could have made it more exciting and challenging by going to another place or what right for me it just doesn't appeal it just doesn't appeal to me how about you gamer go ahead and comment it down below okay honestly I'm getting bored already <laughs> but anyways the graphic is really nice uh, let's just go world boss okay let's see if there's something else that we can do after completing this after killing all of this boss now what do we have okay so I don't know what this part is training exp so it's more like a training ground for your warlord all right and it's gonna grant you some exp in the process last boss 85 let's try if something else is gonna happen on this game after this all right so it's different boss on the same location how exciting is that right <laughs> Anyways, for the sound, I like the sound, alright. Definitely team to ancient uh, China um, game, something like that. Chinese game, right? It's the team of it. Alright, so we are now at level 90. So again, we're not, we're not out of quest. And now we're gonna do Warlord again. Kill a different boss on the same place right here i don't even know what this place is warlord dungeon of course we're hoping that something else can happen after this okay hopefully there's something else that we can do on this game except uh fighting bosses and warlords investment spin all right so that's different <laughs> gotta spin okay yay we won 20 <laughs> Oh, finally, finally, we are exploring again. So after 50 minutes of playing, or either 45 minutes of playing, we are on the outside world again. I miss being on the outside world. I almost quit playing right there. Oh, we have a red item. Nice. I like it. Okay. I've got three red items now. Uh, okay. So you can only do it like three times. All right, well, we're right out of quest again, so you know what to do. We need to go to Warlord Dungeon and kill a different boss on the same space. All right, gamers, so yeah, I think I've had enough. And yeah, let's put our conclusion into it. So basically, I like the graphics of it. I like some scenes of it, cutscenes of it, some parts of it. But then after playing uh, 48 minutes, I don't get me wrong, okay? I just so love the graphics. I love what they did on this uh, uh, graphics. It's not the highest. It's not the, it's not the greatest graphics. But it's. I think the gameplay is very smooth right it's really nice and uh yeah it's pretty smooth i just don't like the fact that uh, you are running out of quest okay and then you will have to do the same uh warlord killing warlord quest over and over again it's make me feel and killing the same bosses on the same space again or same uh place again so it just makes it feel a little bit boring they could have put it somewhere else or a different war i don't mind doing warlords as long as i can travel to go there on a different place or a different dungeon right for each warlord that could have been better and so same goes for the uh, bosses okay because I wish I could have played more. I want to play more and give this uh, game a justice. So go ahead and comment it down below if you're gonna play this game or give it some justice play for it like two hours. But for me, if it doesn't appeal to me in the first hour, then I'm not quite sure what's gonna happen next. Right? So, uh, gamer, don't forget to click the subscribe button, share this video, and don't forget to take it easy. I'll see you on the next video.